hello guys welcome to our today's lesson we want to look on a food test and these are practical activities and uh, below we have a table showing food substances or food substance then we have procedure observation conclusion and we we'll start with the starch and to test for starch the procedure is that to the food solution in a test tube you add iodine solution or in other terms you can use this other way that is a to 2 ml of food solution in a test tube add four drops of iodine solution observation as you can see when the color changes to blue black in this case, when the color changes to blue-black, it means a conclusion, starch present, starch will be present, as you can see here, it has a change to blue-black from brown color. Then uh, if the iodine solution retains its brown color, it means starch absent, it means starch absent. And uh, we shall look at uh, the common mistakes students make when writing this procedure later on. Then let's move to reducing sugars. And reducing sugars procedure to the food solution, you add Benedict solution and heat to boil. While writing Benedict, you must start with a capital B, you must start with a capital B, then apostrophe between T and S, apostrophe between T and S, you can see this is the, the apostrophe here, then don't forget to write heat, because you must heat. Let's look at uh, the observations color changing from blue to green as you can see here changing from blue to green here the conclusion will be trace amounts the trace amounts or you can say little amounts of uh, reducing sugars present little amounts of reducing sugars present that is uh, when it turns to green color as you, as you are seeing here then in case the color changes from blue to yellow or to orange it means reducing sugars present as you can see here you can see it is initially blue then to green then to yellow then orange as you can see here then in case blue color of benedict solution persists it means reducing sugars are absent as you can see here the blue color then let's look at uh, the next one non-reducing sugars and non-reducing sugars procedure to the food solution add dilute hydrochloric acid heat to boil then you cool most students forget to write or to observe the, this procedure of cooling you cool first then after cooling you add sodium hydrogen carbonate until fizzing stops when the fizzing stops you add benedict solution and heat to boil then the observation you can see changing from blue to green color then uh, you can see also blue to green to yellow to orange and that uh, and if that's the case and reducing sugars will be present and to be on the safe side you should write the final color if it is yellow color 
or orange color just write one color then uh, maybe you can be asked a question the role of sodium hydrogen carbonate and the role of uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate in this non-reducing sugars test it is to neutralize excess hydrochloric acid then maybe the role of hydrochloric acid to convert or reduce non-reducing sugars to reducing sugars then let's look at uh, the next uh, food substance and that is the uh, proteins and proteins add equal amount of sodium hydroxide solution to the food solution or food sample given then you add six drops of copper two sulfate solution and shake if the color changes from blue to purple as you can see here from blue to purple proteins are present in case blue color remains as you can see proteins are absent and these proteins at times the color may change from blue to violet and if it uh, changes to violet it means uh, proteins are present so it may be either purple or violet then uh, the common mistake students make they start with the sodium hydroxide sorry copper two sulfate and then sodium hydroxide that is wrong the first uh, reagent to be used to be added on the food sample is sodium hydroxide then followed by copper two sulfate dropwise and the copper two sulfate must be written correctly in order for you to score then the next uh, food substance it is vitamin c vitamin c here or we call it ascorbic acid and in vitamin c it is the opposite you put a food sorry you put dcpip in a test tube first the reagent first then you add the food sample like in this case add food sample to the dcpip and you shake dcpip colorized decolorized means ascorbic acid present when the dcpip retains its color ascorbic acid is absent or will be absent that is the conclusion you'll make then maybe the common mistake students make with the vitamin c it is a just writing vitamin then forgetting c then at times students write vitamin k it is wrong at times students write vitamin k it is wrong then dcpip should be in capital letters not abbreviations in case a students or the student writes with the abbreviations like the way I'm doing that is wrong this is wrong then uh, mixing small letters and capital letters it is also wrong then most students tend to begin with the food sample which is wrong the DCPIP must first be put into a test tube then food sample follows then lipids you add ethanol to the food sample and shake then transfer contents into another test tube and half full of water white emulsion formed that means uh, you can see the white emulsion that means lipids present then also the lipids you can spread the food sample on a filter paper dry it over a flame and observe again a slight in case you get a permanent translucent mark that means lipids are present then when you have no permanent translucent mark lipids absent uh, that is the end but uh, we have mistakes or observations we need to talk about when handling the food test and uh, the food test the food column this food column here you can go back this 
this is the column we are talking about and the column must contain the food substance for example if it is starch and this is sugars you said the food being tested and not the reagent for example you say starch not iodine test then you write the reagent correctly i had said earlier for example benedict solution should be written such with, with a capital letter then apostrophe between t and s that's the way you should write then uh, iodine solution should be written correctly some students omit e dcpip said said should be capital letter and not abbreviations with the dots no mixing of capital and small letters then you should match the reagent correctly with the test maybe for example starch you need to use iodine solution in case you use benedict solution you'll get wrong results have the procedure well written with all steps indicated correctly for example state where the heating or cooling is required appropriately and you'll be keen to note whether the reagent is added to the food sample or the food sample to the reagent and you also take note of the quantities and for example whether the reagent is added to the food sample it can be starch uh, when testing for starch you put the food solution at testing first then you add the reagent which is iodine solution and check but in vitamin c it is opposite you put the reagent first in a test tube that is dcpip then you add your food solution and when taking note of the quantities you state specific number of drops of solution and you should avoid statements like add few or add two to three two to four drops that is a uh, wrong because it will be assumed you did not do the practical you need to give a specific number of drop or drops rather in stating the observation or maybe before that uh, on not taking note of the quantities we can have 2 ml we can use milliliters or we can also use centimeter cubic because that is a uh, for volume representing volume when you are writing these uh, quantities you be very keen not to forget the three here centimeter cubic because you, when you forget it will be two centimeter which is wrong then when writing two ml or milliliter don't forget l when you forget l it will be two meters or meters and that will be wrong in setting the observation, set this precisely, taking note of the color changes or the color that persists. And you should avoid statement like no change, there is nothing like no change, no observable change, it is wrong. The only bit we accept or is correct to say, no color change, no color change, no, not no observable change, it is no color change but you should write the final color to avoid such mistakes conclusion should be clear it is touch present and maybe it is wrong to say starch is not present you should just say starch absent then procedure tied to the test observation is tied to the procedure and conclusion is tied to the observation for example, in this case of vitamin C, you can see the, proce the procedure here is tied to this uh, food being tested. It means vitamin C, you must write the correct procedure. In case you write wrong procedure, you'll get a wrong because it is tied to the food being tested, the food test. Then a uh, conclusion here is tied to the observation if the observation are wrong or is wrong the conclusion will also be wrong the next
common mistakes in column one, that is a, the food substance column, mistake of commitment, writing reducing sugars in brackets glucose, that is wrong, spelling mistakes, for example, protein, writing protein, should be written correctly, then starch, starch should be written also correctly, those are some of the mistakes, then common mistakes in procedure, failure to consider the title of the first column, then poor mastery of food test procedures, e.g. heating, where heating is not required, and the heating mostly is on non-reducing sugars and reducing sugars. Then add iodine instead of iodine solution, remember iodine comes in different forms, it can be solid form, but in this case we use iodine solution because it is, it is in solution form. Then add two to three drops of maybe the solution or reagent, it is wrong, you need to be specific as I had said, it should be maybe three drops. Then rock sequence of reagents, especially in ascorbic acid test, that is vitamin C, because uh, most of the time candidates reverse the order of reagents because they, they, have, they are used to the food solution starting or being put in a test tube. Then uh, to 2 ml of glucose solution, add 2 ml of Benedict solution, that is wrong, it is not glucose solution, it is a food solution. In complete procedures, e.g. omission of cooling in non reducing sugars test, it must be there. The use of chemical symbols that are often wrongly misspelled, for example, copper 2 sulfate, it is wrongly mis misspelled. Then uh, misspelling, for example, Benedict's, in this case, it is wrong. Then Benedict, it must have an apostrophe between T and S, or Benedict solution starting with a small b, will be denied a mark. Then poor scientific language, copper 2 sulfate, here it is a in small letters, it is wrong. The correct one is here, copper 2 sulfate. Then if a candidate commits to stating volumes, they must be correct. For example, I said uh, 2 ml. The 2 ml is correct. 2 centimeter cubic is also correct. In case once one omits L, that is wrong, the three is wrong. Then common mistakes in observation, stating no observation, no reaction, there is nothing like no observation. Provision of alternative colors, e.g. color turns, purple stroke, violet, in Burette's test, that is wrong, you need to provide one color, and you write only one color, if it is violet, if it is a purple. The use of chemical symbols that are often wrongly misspelled, we've said so. Then the color turns greenish, it is wrong. Greenish is wrong, should be green. Incorrect sequence of colors in reducing sugars test. Then yellow solution is formed. And that is a about false negative test for starch. And then providing the color of the food substance suspension is wrong. Common mistakes in conclusion, negatives, e.g. starch not present, that is wrong. You should say starch absent, if it is reducing sugars absent. Omitting identity of the food substance, e.g. present instead of uh, starch present, you must include the food substance. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel like comment for further content thank you